Hello. Um, the character we're going to talk about today is not very well known around the world, but is quite well known in Malta, the country where I live. And this is basically the tale of a man who was rising in success, had an extremely hard life, and then in recent years has popped out to popularity as one of Malta's most beloved and most memeable char characters other than our politicians but that's a bit too political and let's begin about this man yes it's the man the myth the legend Adrian Zamit or also known as Il Babusho so make yourself something to drink and please enjoy this little documentary. Aiden Zamit, born the 20th of December 1980, in obviously most likely in the Pieta, in Pieta Hospital, um, in the Pieta, in the in Saint Luke's Hospital, Malta. He lives most. He lives most of his life. He lives. He has lived all of his most all of his life in Marsa. And I would really want to do a short background on Marsa. Marsa is a, Marsa is very close to Malta's capital city, um, uh, Valletta, but also but, but also it is also very close to Hamrun, and Hamrun and Marsa are very well known for being the slums of Malta, and I as I mean all of Malta. Marsa is known for even Adrian, Adrian Zamit has admitted that even since he was a little boy. Um, uh, there was lots and lots of crime. For example, people get people getting beaten up out of nowhere, people getting robbed, like it was just a, a common occurrence, to the point that you basically had to defend yourself. And the same, and the same was, and the, and the same was, and it was almost the same in Hamrun, another the town next to it. The issues Marx is facing. So, do you feel like Mars has ignored? Kina tiktar ignored. Pero nasa pina din wet milakar lokal at ayete at amalta. Yak mushlakar wet milakar. Yu wedu na hafna yit la minit la wedu na hafna. Om ba nit na siyong mas minit. Meta at kung jay siya lahat siyong nahajer at nat kanta mente kaya mihi kaya mitran jala pa yip da awada. Yon nabdaw nabla wil zabab kolum kien. Yon nabdaw nat po kolum kien ron di talpulo siya hing kolu. And also, Adrian Zamit also talked a lot about how, um, uh, how he used to be, how how Marsa is not an adequate place to live, which I which I obviously agree. And there was also a point where he went for politics for the local council. Mia Yessal, candidat Sur Adrian Zamit, candidat independent, il serokun iat, i contesta filokalita tal Marsa. Il messa stia, che chioche bok? Il messa stia, ja, il Marsin, umma, li il noshin in sena fit meshi, ja, fe il Marsin, atma già ustmati, mandi sigurta, mandi sdignita, la esisti gnin, fe i stau i recrea uruhom, la esisti sigurta, fe i stato od bikwita gjodarek, nidju misru i darb tej fil gjima, mushem billi. كيف يعيدوا أتنا سجراو مو سجراتيوني شيء ينبني لهم تربيت في تريق فورسي ندر من الآداتي هاي 
او انسیا نو میں استاو شہر جمعہ دیا رو بلے دو کل دربی سکر جو دارو جو بے سگورتا مانا شے یہ اندکھا نسخاپو آ لیکونا سگورتا مانا شے کانترا لب دا پروش مو کانترا دا والبارانین احنا محلیش راتسیستی پرو کم مالتین کم بارانین داو کل لی نراو ام ادین یز بال یاو ممیش ادین تستا تایتی جب ام روحم تانی اس خالی دوکسی بوم بل مدزی نجساری موشن حالو کو حتی امل لیری دیکل حاجا البستاش تخرج من جوگ نیسیا یو یو خاتم رال او دستار الپاس تازاتی بکتارا احنا مدهی این حفنا او فستو من ریدو ناملو جه حاجا نخسب المرسین کل لیافو موشی المرسین مدهی جو انتربستاتی منشی انتربستی جفیری و جلو میدو لی ریدو دورو دورا مان مرسا من ریدو دوری عرب المشی ادن فوز دزاسترو سال لخار اصلا کم او پارتیت او کم پارتیت یه هم اندیشه کنتر لب دا پارتیت پر اول مرسا دیم پاونا ملار تستا تای تا احنا اتم حد نشه او سگورتا ارتنا ملی لون دیم لی مرسین موش متا تجی شراز بگیرا یو متا تکونه تا اروپ لیلیتسیونه اش بخالیسا سگورتا یا اوی یا ینا ریت لی مرسین جو پروتیتی فداروم انکا بارا من دیاروم ینا فشی جی فیردی که المرات ترت سکر تتفال کابورت او دیم لی بفتا بارا بش ما يطلو ليش جاوانا بشي جي فيريتي جنبال عنسيانا من القديس السيب الدار مقالبا عجل دخلو على الحللين نفشي جي فيريو كول متا نستر قطفال من تحت دا يوم ميتو متا نسا جواب بوزاتي وما نستما شايف في الميديا يعني الريت اللي دان كول ليا ما ما نطلو بشي سبيشال اللي نيس تال مارسا يايشو بقال نيس تالو كالتي لو كالتي يا توهرا مش نمش نسماتين اس احنا ما نشينا ناس نحال ستاشا بقال حتي يهور اول صفرا تان تلفوتي تال بارسين يخدوهم بخامة يخدوهم من بوستية أخرى يموش يتنى لكم يفو تاولي أو تبو تاوليش يكلي لو تبقاو كيف انتم يفو تاولي استيس يكلي لو تبقلو الفوليا ما نبقاو شوشيسكي عشاك يستموتا شوشيسكي المارساش لخال نقرا يامرو ندق شي زبا يامرو ندق شي سجار ما نبقاو الاستيس احنا نريدو لي المارسا اتكون نزبخ اتكون احيار اتكون اقوى من اللي فوستهم نستالا والسيكوريتي كاملاس او نعملو دق شي شي خاجة في اتا ودا شي الهن تاخو متفر مش اقاس باند لمهم اقاس جن مهم يكون كل مهم كستر فون دي من اما منا وينجبوهم كل غات يقف لي بخال الساو جيت كبير في البايس بخال ما كنا وانكا شرطوس من هي تهرا بارو الما اسا اتما بانفقات مي شي مي شي نالا يبيرك نسبر اللي دان المستاج ياسال في الودنة يتايبا تبدو مخكم ما نبقاوش لحوا البوبلو بارسي يوزاد نجو بوبلو مارسي ينتقرو و خلو کم می‌ده فرانسه، و خلو کم می‌لی کیفی بوده، نان ول بوز نانو. دیموش کوستیونی، تا احمرو بلو دیا کوستیونی، تا مارسا یا موش مارسا شانی جو استنتی، و موش خاتم آتیز است مارسا. انسان می‌کنم. سمعنا امکان کل مساج تا سوره ادریان زمیت کاندیدات ایندپندنتی فی لکالیتا تا مارسا. How did you do? How do you think you went? He was an independent candidate, more, independent. More tired, half now, half now, half now. Me, I was a bain vote. Let me out six and I should know what I am. And my day, party tario, her little no mal party. More half now, I have Mr. Bamintana, half name in the Nahora. We wish not to her. But oh, well done. Really, you well really done. in this reduni. Yes, that's him. You just saw, you just saw a political interview with Adrian Zamit, the man who we all know as a, shirt, a, sh a shirtless a shirtless Maltese man at the age of 39 at the time of this recording shouting and pronouncing COVID-19 COVID as the coronavirus. <laughs> Twenty twenty just a twenty twenty in Malta just just go wonderfully to get on day, but you know, still he has very good points. He most. When he went when he went up for politics, his biggest his biggest idea his biggest um, uh, points was to improve life, as in getting more security, imp improving improving the environment both for both for adults and for children, such as arranging such as, such as arranging such as making more children's activities and playgrounds. And, and and also and also increasing and also increasing the police 
to monitor Marsa to make sure everyone was safe and to and to prevent the horrible reputation that Marsa has been having for such a long time. Another thing that Mar that, that Marsa has, is also known for it has a horrible stench due to it being part of be, being being part of the harbor, the the worst part of the harbor where lots where lots of old tugboats parked. There all of old entire tugboats and old fishing boats park uh, right next to the right next to Grand Harbor and weirdly enough a story about when I when I was in Marsa my Scottish cousins arrived um, uh, the YouTube names are Brian Formosa Applestone Productions and and Peter Productions 321 and basically what happened was I, we went to go for Starbucks and it's at the waterfront. The waterfront is, a, is, a, is between Floriana and Marsa. As soon as we went like the wall between like there's like a small line. As soon as, as, soon as we passed through Floriana the first thing we saw was a car smashed into bits with a brick inside and literally the radio uh, this, the radio, the horn, the airbags were just completely gone, and the uh, and the rear right tire. So you can, so you can see, and this is also in broad daylight. Ne next one of the most popular stores in Malta, which was the, the recently opened Starbucks in the Grand Harbour, where lots of gigantic ferries pass by, park, and they go there to get a drink. Yeah, Marsa isn't really a safe place. You could basically say that Marsa is either is either the Detroit or the Bronx of Malta, and I would not and I would not deny about that fact. Another thing about his childhood, he he was a very rebellious kid when he was younger. I don't know much about it, but I'll try and tell you as much as I know. Adrian Zamit, um, Adrian Zamit. And was a very rebellious, was a very rebellious person, even even sleeping outside, to rebel against his family. As he said, he he was the black sheep of the family, and he finally found out, and he finally found a grey area with his family, later on in his years, and at the age of twenty-two, possibly, but possibly meaning two thousand, um, possibly two thousand thirteen, he got addicted to drugs. We don't know what drugs they were. But obviously, um, uh, it's a very dark topic. But the top one to talk about when it's its name to the tide clean. So, what's up? Clean, very, very, like a sonador. My name is Viome Pemri, totalmente. Vero, she is really a colloc at Dalsa Tujak. Le, 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 la colleague de Milk, Tom Lanta Biotics, so I'll let Moto Hodomsh. This picture with Rip Mahat Tomsh, call Mahat Nosfish Kong whiskey, that comes about the claim. He did talk to talk about in loving Malta. He was. He seemed to be quite successful when he was much younger, to the point that he even had three, three massive properties. Mois homeless country, but also got no hot bar. Dar dem kelly, anse kelly, al dar kelly. Itli eta ne khay tam da batel vitiu. Ma zoma, pero liad ni amnek ia dija taiba liad net kelly ma kongo enka. Which trust me, to afford three massive properties in Malta, even years ago, was a fucking miracle. Okay. Especially with these paychecks. I know I'm listen, I'm not, I'm not going to a fucking rant, but fuck it, right? How on earth can someone who earns one to two thousand euros a month on average can afford the average house price of three hundred K? And that's for a little sh that's for a little the tiny little home. If you want a decently sized house for a family in, in a safe place, that's between four hundred to five hundred K. In other words, you'll be spending the rest of your life from the age of possibly 20 all the way to possibly 40, 45 years paying loans at a high interest rates. So you could really see how how um, uh, successful this man had become. But sadly, he had lost those three properties due to his drug addiction. But now he does. But but now he does live in his own house. And luckily, he managed to. to Become clean between 2013, uh, somewhere about six years, six years, six years ago. So that means it'd be possibly between 2013 and 2014, but most likely it would have been 2014. And weirdly enough, this is how um, 
we begin of his of his success. So it all happened like this. Before, well, before he was a very huge fan of Ebi Benzina. Uh, Ebi Benzina is basically um, a very a very well a very well known person who has dabbled in politics and is a, and is a very renowned lawyer. And obviously, you supposed to say his name is Doctor Mibenzina, but I do. I, but it's my show. I can say whatever I want, so I'm going to call him Mibenzina, anyways. Basically, Adrian Zamit was a very huge fan of him. He even admits it. He even admits it. And what it would be was was that he would he would sometimes prank call him, but ironically enough, when prank calls happen to Adrian. As he, as he says it himself, yeah, he has slight anger problems, just a little bit, just, just a, just a little, little bit, you know, just a little bit. I'll end that program. Grazie, grazie. I'm a top gen guy. Ah, grazie, grazie. Oh, Harris, my minute, ah, share the program, I'm going to talk to you. Jaha, no, no, I'm going to talk to you. Come on, Void, hello. Best act al carnival, man. She, she, she. That type of fetile, this best act. Oh, you know. Can't respond to all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nali fetile. Them at the moment, just hot name. Lo, I see. I'm happy. Razi min shei. Or if you are the secretary, you lie. You bitch at the act. Ola asta. Takola tiak. Takse kwara tiak. Bish bish era li yoran sa tiak. If you roll shtiye kolet. Mush le saya la koyak mati klujin da kala kla sek jol plat. But yeah. Ad and Adrian, or or a babushu. As they know him in Marsa, once he did not have any television due to him not being able to pay the company, the cable company either either it was Go or Merlita. We're not we're not sure which it was. He had nothing to entertain himself, and the only thing he had to entertain himself was the internet. So what did he do? He went on to Facebook and went live, and that was when it all began. From that very first stream till now. Emi Benzina has managed to, on average, get 9,000 views every single video, or one and about 1,000 comments every stream, and that's very impressive. And the topics that he talks about is obviously quite generic. Well, quite ge it goes from the very generic to the very stupid to also the, to the very intellectual. What do I mean? There are some things that only that not even some politics would answer. Such as he tries and think think about express, expressing his emo, his feelings about what should be done, for example, with the homelessness in the country. What should be done with with legal immigration? How they should how people should be treated when they come to Malta? What should happen in the situation of COVID nineteen? No one can sustain themselves. What could happen in many in many other situations? How people should treat the youth and how and how we should how we should teach them? These things are things. That politicians would say they're concerned about, but they would not delve into. They're more of as in like yes, no kind of answers. But him, he has one and a half hours on Facebook Live to talk about about whatever the fuck he wants. So he's gonna fucking talk about it. As of, as of well, people calling him and pr and prank calling the fuck him, and him going nuts and him calming down and going back to normal. And. Obviously, one one of his most and one of his things which really grab attention to his viewers is are his dogs. Um, and he 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 let's say he, he has a small zoo inside his, inside his little Marsa home. He has two Rottweilers. He has one dog named Fido, which honestly acts a lot more than than acts less than a dog, but more than a, more like a tiny little fluffy Tyrannosaurus Rex. And before and before he had a lovely old lovely old, and before he had a lovely old bulldog named Guffy. Guffy was a very loyal and reliable dog and brought lots of attention. One of the biggest spectacles for people love to watch was, was just was just seeing one either um uh, Adrian just just going ham about the cat. Yes Adrian Zamit, one of his most notable things is just screaming, shouting, and all of his stupid little antics about a tiny little cat. 
and obviously the stories he makes honestly they make me feel cool. um second thing is Fido because that fucker can bite and Goffy people loved loved it when he when he used to feed his over 15 year old bulldog Goffy I think we need to talk about Goffy 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 Goffy, Goffy. so give us a bit of history about Goffy you know how did you get Goffy Goffy تاتي لي واحدة ها حبيبة تيي عندها مستة شد سنة هذا تيبة تخب تيي كل أبي دي أنت خافني أبي دي أنت خافني ديس كان لما نديش كاراترو تيب بولاسي أو ريكس إك بيرا عندها كاراترو اللي تخب الأول بولدوك لي كلي وان كادا وتوارا يا دو تايتو مكول So who else do we have? Give us who 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 do we have here? All your dogs Like me Hey 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 Okay, what are their names? Tai Kublai, I don't know what to call Rottweilers and Malsomba. And who do we have in the other room? Jirida. And the three threats. Diego. What's up? Hey! Hey! Diego Lohrein, Samsung Nokia, Samito. Samsung Nokia. So, Goffy is like a big part of your show. Uh-huh. And Goffy. Ena idul artist popolari, għax min najra ma namlu xie, ja? Eh, le, le, tiġ bet ħafna simpatija, ja, ja, ja. So, people love seeing you feeding her. Mm. Right? So, does she have a favorite food? Huh? Does she have a favorite food? Dak li nikoli, inti koli, ja, fibni. Pero, ija, ħel tiġi fiera, kama daħ mista xil sena, u nemmen li s-sigrit ta' klib bix jieġu ħafna, jieġu b-saħkieta, għam li tħobbu. But sadly, um, the poor dog died recently this year in 2020. But now he's finally found love again and has another baby, baby, baby puppy bulldog, which he's also called Goffy. And to include into his, his little family, well, little family, he has three rats. It's Diego, Samsung, and Nokia. Very original names, my friend. So in total, a man who is working, uh, working in masonry right now, basically in construction, and he and some, there are times where she complains about it a lot. It's a hard job, especially in the Maltese heat, and the pay is not worth it. I, I'm, being, I'm going to be honest with you. Especially when you're in 40, sometimes in the, in the, in the summer, in about 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 degree weather. And I'm saying Celsius to all my, to all the, to, to all the non, all the non Celsius users, just, just, just do like 42 degrees Celsius and, com and convert that to Fahrenheit. And imagine working that for about 8 to tw 8 to 10 to even 12 hours a day for a shitty minimum wage pay. I don't see it, I don't see it as worth it myself, but obviously, you, you gotta make ends meet how you, how you can. And obviously. He managed to live a decent life with, with that with that wage, and honestly, weirdly enough, well not, not weirdly enough, there was one thing um, Confucius said: teach a man to fish, and to see what Confucius said was, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he'll eat for his whole life. Why does this relate to, to Adrian Zamit? Agents of Meat promotes promotes um, uh, free speech in a in a more in a more elaborate way. Well, he he says in a way that well Malta Malta is in a very is a very political country in a way as in like you're either red or blue and some other smaller political parties in between. And honestly, I agree with him. The country has become too obsessed with which political party you are, and because one political party is one political party that you that you and your family and your grandparents and your great grandparents have supported for all those years, it means you have to you have to support every single thing they do. And Agent Zamit has and Agent Zamit says that you should not have a sheep mentality. If something is wrong, you have you have to admit that something is wrong and fix a problem. As a populist, which is a, which is a very which is a which is something very good, which some more intelligent people wouldn't even think about. Which is, which is a good good thing, because sometimes there's a saying that when you speak your mind, you're hitting your own voice. When you 
open your ears and listen, you hear the whole world. Because you get to experience what other people like, what other people think. And honestly, weird to say, the, fine, he does have very stupid antics such as right here. Mm -hmm. And he's absolutely memeable at like this clip. The assembly will hear an address by His Excellency Adrian Zomi. Prime Minister of the Republic of Malta. Ah, now look at Malta. Ah, now Malta strong. We are in this strong people, all right? We know, eh, uh, Khafna Sheni on the film of Rocky Barboa. We are the Malta. We have went to Rosy, like this films. Manish lot of Sheni, we should not have them. I'll go and have them in the other films. Ah, Manish Chati. We fight, fight the, the war of the English, eh? Uh? Oh, short with the comfort of Santa Maria, we, 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 eh? I like what can on that shabling, please, be school of that who may have moved. As in your auntie, and your auntie, and the form, oh my, we, Basta Collo, Collo Marmati, Collo Superpotency, when they come of the garbage off of the bush, eh? And the Malta, Jato, we, we, Jate Zona, be school of that who, Allah, and our comfort for the European, and be school of that, and be killed with the witness. Mela Ichu, Mela Leon, Hype Zauna, Bill Carnival, Rosie, in short, I go, I go in the shop. You know, you know, lockdown. We are going to have much Hasakrona Jawa, Bishadu, eh, bless Perimenti Mufuna. We no, no surrender, no retreat, no surrender. We in the Malta, no gain, no pain. Almaras Mushli, I'm going to have Bill Carnival, you know, the fair mobile Carnival, eh, Tasha Peta, Lord Carnival. You know, Samir Fliego, Malam Samir Carnival, Mint of Kinyon, Kulyon, Kulfirolo, and the day I is, Mizam Tatman in Senayom, the Lamar, and the Emil Carnival, Mat, Tame Bushin, Sarkul Party, Tain, Ektar, and Common, your anti respect. Oh, yeah, but Mia Blessy is, he has good opinions. He has good ideas, and also, if he ever went in, in, into the Mar Marcel, Marcel Local Council, he had extremely good ideas to, imp to improve lives, not only for, for people who live in Marsa, but, but the people who've migrated to Malta and have went into these, who, who, who normally stay in, in this, I believe it's a migration camp in Marsa, and improve the quality, not only for people who are Maltese, but people who are foreigners who've come to Malta and are staying in Marsa. Kerankawi had this. Kemen Nisli or Gumara. Ta se fentibus. Li na fina outlieta. Wow. And taflieta. Ayu yo. Jesus Christ. Yena mishana on the disk kung bay barani um Maltina ni akul hatuman. Mushek. Anka barani mush 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 dali or barra musali or barra. Safratan kon Europe kon nadir. Hat minna ma ma isolvino problema fa yizom. Kul hat teleti dro msi kena umnek. Yena ekiret ne ne klilek. Una la homeless. Una fli andek dar u hata'a. Nel ranġa lek darek. Mix ni pronti kamra. Mix ni snejek bik. Andek dar. Nel ranġa lek. Spejes bi spejes. Avnek etit u għan kamra. Mix ni ftiemu. Ifemni mux letteral. Nel ranġa lek. Etit pronti hennu għal jommaw. U jikisru l-on pajizu. Da la fajr ma simonx fuq il-media. Da la fajr tittam la mal-media mbiċ kontafu. La simon fuq Facebook. La simon fuq l-abda ktib. U inti kif sir tafu ma l-ura da la fajr jir? كيف وصلت عليهم؟ عشنا من أمخهم من أمخهم وعند هاف نحبيب منهم ويكلموني يدوي شرطة فريد لأتماس ما يقول أصول فريد وكيف يري وعندنا برفع مصلا من الناس نفتح لهم فوق تانيس Does Marsa have a problem with migrants? إيه آه عندنا هاف نحبيب مجرانتي قبل كنت نرخى بروبليما بلو ما نخسب مش يكينا بروبليما هنا كنت راتسيست واو عش كنت نبلو ما شرطونيس لي لا إسا تان درايتهم لي Tista tajt għandik tarħ bib barranin mill-li Maltin. Mux għat najt li kollu ma taj bim xal Maltin. Issib minu problematiku jifir u jati fastidju. Pero jen tan drawni jisibu unit papadogi li li dejn bilik li. Papadogi. Papadogi. Għat aċkem irrispettaw ni aġi li Malti mi għapxeni u ma jifu jajnuni għalken mi laħan kaħal Maltinienu. Pero iktar, 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 نراو عشرة من نوفلا هي، بس ما يتنيش بس يجوزي. أو خا جهرة، المارسينا ليا لا، 
مش داو كلير بوتا لا كل ما بوتا ليش ما ردو شيء بلا فاش هنا مش كنت خنا لو بنسن ترى كم السنة هلا هنا كنت أنا مو فيها هذا المرسى تالنجليز بلا كل جول كلاب ديك البيتشار كبيرة لا هذا مكتسى تاي تاي شيء شيء. Really, you want to move the you wanted to move the Marsa open center to the Marsa golf club. أيوة أيوة. أمك واحدة أو نك مش مش بوست النيس. Wow. مش هم أنا تعرفت خل النيس جيري عدوي تمنى مش رهان. I went once. I've been once. لا لا مش مش أنا كمان نين جوز خط ما تكلم هو أدي أمك مش بوست أنا هلا هو مارس ما لا جول جولف كلاب أمك ما تانش نزاو هل مارس نيم ما نزاخش. Interesting, interesting. Golf club, yeah, golf club. In Tusa, leh, in Tusa, men nisli elabu el golf nem mali. Mori rabu shumkini, hor mi sh problema. Ah, half nartiyet. So what's important is the Marsa people above the golfers. Hey, ash ash el el Marsini jula wel. Laya tel Marsa, yen Tusa. Itar mili el Marsin, anka el le migranti, le migranti. Malik fir hata koko, mek katra bimni. Asak ni zaman katra bimni dekle industas. So um, Maltese people, the Maltese people, there's a lot of pressure among some segments when it comes to migrants. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, we had the murder of Lassana Sisse in Halfar. That is a story. This piece here, you know, Kabul is full of total, total. Man, just like me, they can't live all over the country. Except for a total me, they. Li tuja, you know, total at me, you know, favorite. Li, they can't tell their age. If you're not in a country, you have no. How did I look? I'm not with them. Work for the state. I'm. What was really shocking about that was two things. One, they didn't know the man. They just killed him point blank, cold blooded. But two, they were also soldiers. They were mortis. There's a three as well to that thing because what happened was they shot him in the head. Then they drove 50 meters down the road and they shot another two guys. So they are lishta o my kono serial killers. Is is show ada hob ganet li kun li kono serial killers. Apart from that, she jumat abel allegatament da kolo shallegatament. Ad deo bil karotza min po min po bni dami yor. Is you feel da o is show ada hob kino li 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 yotlu ektar min persona wada. Is you feel kan chokati oli u masuldati ya obviament ektar. And correct me if I'm wrong. They're out on bail now, right? What's your take on all of this? Man, this claim, but how can I say that? Because man, don't you know? Because they can sell that. They can sell that. They call them. Madan lat. This that I. Man, I'm not going to say hello. I just have to tell you. So you felt it. You felt it. ما تعرف شيء هل رسينا ما تعرف اسمه ما كنا خلاص بس نجيب. صحيح صحيح. and he's even admitted before before he was younger he used to be raised he used to he used to be he 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 disliked them but obviously he said that he 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 not he mostly blamed it on on the old mentality and how the people he surrounded himself in was mostly more like it was the old mentality and then when he realized that these people were just normal humans like he was and just saying oh they aren't so bad the media and all these people are, 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 in, are incorrect he's managed to just say everyone is human it didn't and listen I'm never trying to cancel this man this man obviously has come it's come from a it's come from a very hard place he's went through a lot of things and honestly he has fought through life and has taught some people fine he has he has made thousands of thousands of weekly thousands of people a week laugh but at the same time there are still some little hints of intelligence that we can all learn and you're telling me Ben how is that just because someone doesn't have a degree, it doesn't mean they can't teach someone. And so, as I tell you all, there are times that the mechanic can teach the engineer, or the teacher, the regular, um, the teacher can teach them, can, can or either. The fact is in this, this um, uh, or as in the tech. Basically, I would like to think as in the tech, as in the mechanic, 
teaches the, the engineers and saying, what you've made is good, but you can improve in this, this, and this. Because some people, for some people, would not think of would not think of the aftermath, how what what would happen, the uh, the outer thing, and people who work with them, who work with in these situations and fix the problems, could just talk to could just could literally teach people saying, hey, what you did was good, but if you did this, it'd be so much better. Very weird and uh, very weird analogy, but it's all I got. But. It's basically become from a man who was just the black sheep of the family to a partying teenager to a man who rose to success to up to three properties to a man who got addicted to drugs from 2003 to 2014 sobered up works as a, worked as a mace as a regular mason went up to the local council to try and improve Marsa I don't know I do not know if he's going up again for politics, that would be something we, we have to find out. And after all of that, on one, on one day where he didn't, couldn't afford TV, he went to the internet, went live on Facebook, and that was history. He used to, he used to live stream every day, and now, you, and now he live streams three times a week. But I wish Adrian, Adrian Zamit all the best. If any of you watch this, and if Adrian Zamit watches this, um, uh, hope you're doing well in coronavirus. I would love to interview you if if if, if the pandemic stops, because obviously I have lots of studying to do and try to keep myself sane during, during, during the pandemic. And yeah, thank you all. My name is Benji. And thank you for watching my Agent Zamit documentary. And I bid you all adieu. Shit. Respect the Kulhat, special man, Elda Kliktar